Celebrities like Jennifer Lopez, Beyonce, Chris Hemsworth, and Gwyneth Paltrow have all given this weight loss trend a try. Here to help us understand it, because I don't know what it is, <laughs> is Karina Heinrich. Hi. Thanks for having me. Okay, all these celebrities are doing intermittent fasting. Mm -hmm. yeah. People are. People are. People. Explain people. to me what it is, because I hear about it, and it, I feel like it's one of those things like gluten. Like, no one knows what it really is. <laughs> but, but they, follow, they, it they anyway. follow it anyway. So people all around the world for years and years, this is nothing new, have been practicing intermittent fasting for weight loss, overall health, and really has powerful effects on our brain, our body, and even elongates our life. So mm. what are the benefits of intermittent fasting? Because I know people that do it, and I feel like people are scared of trying it who don't know much about it, because they're like, am I going to be starving? And you are, right? <laughs> no, I mean, it's very mental, but oh, right. there's huge benefits. And I recommend that everyone try it because basically it makes huge changes in your body where you're actually burning fat, you're reducing insulin, and you're giving your metabolic boost an up. So it's worth trying. And what's unique about it is usually when you do like a caloric diet, you're losing muscle and you're losing fat. But with intermittent fasting, it helps your body hold on to that muscle, which is rare. So give me oh. the breakdown. Is it six hours of eating, eight hours of eating, or 10 hours of eating? What's great about intermittent fasting is there's different patterns. You can kind of choose the one that works best for you. I like to walk my clients through 16A, which we were just talking mm -hmm. about. Basically, you fast for 16 hours, and then you eat for 8. So for me, today, I'm going to start eating at 11, and then I'll stop eating at 7. OK. OK, that's so, doable. But you do this only a few days a week. Do you ever do a full day of no eating? Because I've heard some people say that like once a week, you're supposed to go without eating, which I think is very difficult. Again, that's all part of the patterns. And for some people, that's too restrictive. And it's a mental battle all day long. And research shows that doing three consecutive days of this 16-8 actually has more benefits than doing any more than that. So actually, like more than three days, it's a special number, you actually have more harmful effects. And you'll start to uh, make your metabolism plummet, and you won't be losing as much fat. So you do Tuesdays, more than three Wednesdays, days. and Thursdays, you do your intermittent Three consecutive days. And you're good. You're good. But what are you eating at this point? Like, is it a special diet? Do I have to, like, just eat what I normally eat, but just in that restrictive time? So what I find is, because it's so restrictive, some people overcompensate and end up eating more calories than they would have normally. <laughs> so it's really important that you have a balanced diet when you're eating. So you follow, like, My Nutrition High Low Lean No, where you're getting tons of fiber, water, vegetables, lean protein, healthy fats like avocado, olive oil, and then you're kind of mm. staying away. People kind of want to binge because they think they've gone without and then they're eating all the sugar so you eat salt. like a whole spaghetti and meatball you make up for it in one dessert. meal of what yeah. you the whole point of it so you're actually doing more harm so you have to mentally go in that you're giving your body a break mm -hmm. which is positive and you can do this one day a week and actually reap those benefits so basically you need to keep your healthy lifestyle but this is like an added way to maybe like really hone in on losing that fat well, people are scared to miss a meal, and I think sometimes our body really doesn't loves... Doesn't need it? It doesn't need it. It loves the break. Now, again, not more than three days of doing this pattern, but we all need... We're, we consume so much food, and sometimes taking a step back and even asking yourself, am I hungry? Right. You know, and this has been practiced. This isn't, like, new. It's very trendy now, so everyone's trying it. Yeah. But it really does work. I'm a big bitch, so I have to get on the <laughs> treadmill, and I got to work... What do you tell people who have to work out? Like, is it okay to work out before you get into the fasting, or oh, do you work good. out during the fast? I think people are scared to try this because they've heard it's going to reduce their metabolism. It doesn't do that. It actually can give you more energy to work out while you're fasting. So I say, make sure you work out, but make sure you're keeping hydrated. Mm -hmm. So during the fast, you're drinking tons of water, herbal teas, and then you're having that balanced diet. But yeah, work out. Does it matter what time? Is it better to work out while you're not eating or to work out after you ate or before you eat? I think if you're making this a pattern, you work out what fits in your lifestyle. Again, this is an eating pattern, not really a diet. Yeah. So it's meant to be part of your everyday lifestyle. Keep and what about the, no, the non-three days? You just maintain mm. a healthy lifestyle? and Exactly. And that's the important thing. Like, I always take a step back and look at my whole week. So you've done great for three days, but then the rest you're eating, like, pizza and french fries and dessert, oh. so no. So you have to look at your whole week and make sure you're adding the intermittent fasting and then eating healthy. This is about a healthy lifestyle. Mm. And on the days that you're not doing intermittent fasting, you should stop eating around 7 anyway, right? Or 8? And it depends on what time you go to bed. But if you are going to bed at 10, then 7 is great. Yeah. Two to three hours before bedtime. You don't know yeah. what to ask Your stomach's you. always flatter then. Yeah. Oh, I know. But <laughs> sometimes <laughs> that 
I late night. I eat it at five, so then the next morning I'm like, didn't happen. Exactly. <laughs> didn't happen. Exactly. I know this is off topic, but for me, I'm like a late night snacker. Like I like to get up and like you know trail around and graze. What's a good thing to have in <laughs> your refrigerator cow. that is like okay to eat in the middle of the night? Like what can I put in my body? So there are proven foods that actually help you sleep better. So bananas, cherries are actually like <gasps> cherries some... moves it through. Oh. Is it... <laughs> Aren't those good for digestion? <laughs> Absolutely, and that's a whole nother topic, a strong yeah. digestive system, but... Um, Don't leave after we have more questions. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, but uh, the bananas, nuts, actually, like pistachios, but oh, unsalted, nothing yes. can be salted. <laughs> um, so, the, and then herbal tea, so all of that will help, which doesn't quench, I know, your hunger, but at least sometimes you're thirsty and you're not really hungry. Yeah. Oh my, oh, my God. This is all so helpful. Lots of tricks. Yeah. Um, What's so special about your method? <laughs> so my method is very simple, but it holds people accountable for creating a healthy lifestyle. Um, so the high, low, lean, no is about looking at every meal and making sure you're asking yourself, is this going to give me energy? Is it great for skin and beauty? And so part of intermittent fasting is also asking yourself, how does this fit in my lifestyle? Amazing. Amazing. Oh, my God. Thank, Thank you, you for you coming so today. Thank you we for really inviting appreciate me. It. You guys, you can actually get the Karina Method Rule Book. It's available at 50% off right now. No discount code needed. You can download it now at thekarinamethod.com. Stick around. We got more Daily Pop for you. Ooh, I Thank like you for discount. coming. Thank you. Yeah,